It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna go over the last part of your FPS Cowboy 3D game, adding in player controller and sounds. You can see on the class page, you're gonna need this media. This is the background music. And you get two choices. You can choose whatever one you want. This is the tumbleweed sound. So you can choose that one, or if you just want a Western sound, and this will play throughout your game. You're gonna to need to download whatever one you want and you're gonna add that to your game. Here is a tutorial video that we're gonna watch. You can see there's a part of it that is on your own. We have learned how to add space when the game is over, how to add space to replay your game. So you're gonna do that on your own. You can see right here, I'm telling you, go back and look at the Whack-A-Mole 3D restart game. And I want you to add press space to replay just like you did here when the game timer is over. So again, this part is on your own. You can see here are the code segments you're gonna to need to update shooter. We had, when someone pressed space, we would shoot the bullet. We're gonna update that to make it a mouse click. And this is the player movement script. So you're gonna to need to copy that in. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, let's just update the shooter script. Really, really simple to do. Here you can see it says space. We're gonna change that to mouse zero. And let's press save and come back over just to make sure that it works. So now I'm gonna press play. So now I'm, I'm clicking my mouse. You can see now I can shoot that way. So that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and add in our background sound effect. We can click on any one of these. I'm just gonna click on the world. I'm gonna do audio source. I'm going to do loop and play on awake. And then here I need to import my sound. I'm gonna go to my sounds folder and import whatever asset I want. So let's say I wanted the Western import. Now, I'll go back on my world where that is, drag this inside of there. Now, let's press play and let's see that it plays. So, you can see my music plays and I have loop on, so that will work. Really, really simple to do. All right, so the next major part is the player controller script. And I already have that script. I've created it and you should as well. You can see here, player controller, and I have all of my stuff inside of here. Also added it to my person here. And you can see I can turn that, I had it off, but now I'm gonna turn it on and show you what it does. So now I can look up and down. I also can move left and right using the keyboards. Left, right, I can move forward. And again, I can look up and down. Now there's one error and we're gonna fix that. So first, what you're gonna do is get this to work. And you can see, I don't need that guy anymore. So I'm gonna pause, Let's undo this. So we don't need the person. That was just there for a reference. So we're just gonna click on character and we're gonna get rid of him. The other thing that we saw is when we shot, this gun did not move with us. And let me show you that again. So if I look up, it's not moving. If I go forward and I turn around, look, the gun is still right there. So it's a problem with the prefab. So down here in our Pro Western 
this prefab does not want to move. So what we're going to do is actually just add in the original 3D objects. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find this and drag it in. Now you can see it's here. I want to put it, and when you, when you drag it in, you can see when I'm, I'm going to make zero. Instead of saying negative, I'm going to make it zero. Now let's drag it up. And you're going to try to put it exactly where that gun is. So I'm going to move it there and move it up. Look if I can back a little bit. There we go. I can do like that. And I'm going to pull this and put this inside of here. So I have that. This is my old gun. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now I have this 3D model. Now I just want to add it some, the actual make it look like the gun. So I'm going to go into our materials inside of Pro Western Starter. And you can see, I can scroll down. Here is pistol. I'm just going to drag this directly onto. I'm going to drag this directly on here. And now I have this. So again, you have to get rid of, this was our prefab. This is just a 3D model with the material on it. Now, with that, I should be able to move my gun with, now I see, now you can see when I move, the gun follows me. When I scroll up, down, if I go way over here, it looks like I need to put the gun down a little bit, just so it looks, yeah, and you can kind of play with it. There we go. Now it's shooting right out of there. So there you go. With your up, down, look, left and right. And that is pretty much it. Now this is a weird instance. Here is your player controller script. I just want to go through it so you know what's going on here. Now this is a weird script. Normally we made this game for our Oculus VR headset. So you would actually turn using the headset, you would shoot using the headset, you would move forward with the controller. Since we're using our Oculus VR headsets, this is just a quick temporary fix for this. Normally again, you would have put this game inside your Oculus headset and moved around and walked around using our Oculus headsets. But let's just go through this. So I have a horizontal and vertical input have a speed, that's how fast you can move forward or backward. I have a turn speed, which is 100. It's how fast you turn left and right. And I have a mouse sensitivity. That's to move up and down. So whenever I'm scroll, moving my mouse up and down to look up and down, that's how sensitive the mouse is. And here I just made two procedures, player input movement and look up down. Here's my look up down. Here's my player movement. For look up down, we're getting the Y axis of your mouse. So Y is forward and backwards. So if I move forward and backwards on the mouse, I'm getting that input. I'm doing times the negative times the mouse sensitivity and I'm rotating my X up by that look up down angle. For player input, we've done this before. I'm getting the horizontal and vertical inputs. That's your up, down, your left, right keys and I'm doing a transfer dot forward for my vertical input. So if someone presses up or down on the keyboard, I will move forward or backwards. For my left and right, I'm using rotate to actually turn and I'm using the turn speed. So that is what you got to put together. And again, let me quickly show you the game. Let's just make this a lot bigger so you can see. I right, press play. You can see I can scroll up and down. So there you go. Really, really simple, quick game. Go ahead and finish that up.
Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher.